Hello, I'm Dr. James Wheeler. I'm an internal research fellow in the Field Lab. My background is synthetic aperture radar, SAR processing. I look at the Sentinel-1 ESSR constellation and applications include fire detection, burned area, particularly in vegetated areas. And in the past, I've looked at soil moisture monitoring and other land cover classification type problems. I process and analyze large EO datasets, both in space and also in time. Um, as a result, uh, I'm looking at developing deep learning methods for this. And I'm also building a labeled data set for detecting burned areas using SAR data. Because of the high volumes, I'm also processing most of the data I use in the cloud. The image we can see here is uh, a burn scar developing over an area of South Sudan. We can see very characteristic burn scars developing across the landscape. I'm looking at the wildfires in Australia at the end of last year and the beginning of this year, um, in particular in uh, New South Wales, between Sydney and Brisbane. Um, for this, I processed three months worth of Sentinel-1 data. So one image every 12 days, radar images at about 10 meter resolution. Um, these are all processed using the OpenSAR toolkit. And this was a kind of exploratory classification using the information from the radar data and comparing it with um, active fire hotspots, which is a coarse resolution, one kilometer resolution data set that's produced every day where you get an activation when uh, there's a high likelihood of there being a fire within that one kilometer pixel. And this corresponded very nicely with, with the radar data set that we processed. And this was a basis uh, of deciding to use this particular data set to generate uh, the label data and also to use to process for burned area. So this is my workflow. So first of all, selecting an area to look at, uh, steps B, C and D here were all performed in OpenSAR Toolkit and SEPI is using another in-house toolkit called IRIS, um, which is a quick and easy tool for, develop, for generating labeled data from Earth observation data sets. So the step A um, was uh, performed using Google Earth Engine. So first of all, we looked at um, areas where there have been a lot of activations of these coarse resolution fire uh, data sets. Compared that with land cover data sets where uh, we believe there to be uh, vegetated or forested areas, and then combine those to, to generate uh, a lot of small 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer um, data sets that we'll use for labeling. Uh, skipping steps B, C and D uh, and going straight to E. Um, the label data uh, generation is using this iris toolkit where you draw um, pixels onto the area of interest um, using whatever class you're interested in. So it's all relatively easy to set up. So here I'm using different layers of, um, of Sentinel-1 data, different band combinations to better visualize where there's been a fire. And then comparing that with uh, Sentinel-2, which is an optical data set images where it's a little bit easier to see um, in the landscape whether there's been any changes. And then a click of the button and we have a rough and ready um, labeled data set. And this then can be quickly and easily trimmed and cleaned up. Thank you very much.